turn right into this lane from that lane. Is he going to do it? He's just not going to indicate. There he is. Spotted it. You've got to read people. You've got to be psychic, haven't you? Got a truck there. You've got to be psychic to ride a motorbike. To know what people are doing. Helps to have a little bit of local knowledge as well to get the lay of the land. But um, yeah. So that's partly to do with this journey. I'm off to uh, a company called Nigel Morells. They are looking at it. I've never heard of them before because they're not a main dealer. They're a motorcycle crash repair specialist. I looked at the uh, social networks and they've got a decent following, a decent uh, review base. They look like bikers, which is what we want. We want people to know what they're talking about. And the guy that hit me up the ass is uh, his insurance company. They're probably going to get my business next year because of the way they've treated me. I'm currently with a Swan, who are by far and away the cheapest. But I rang them up because I couldn't get their website to work. Four attempts at trying to get the uh, online claim done, which is probably why they're cheaper because they don't employ anybody to. To work for them you can do it all yourself online but when their when their servers aren't working and you go through the process of in, inputting all the details for the accident including the guy who hit me all his details the registration number four times and you get a screen pop up that says what did it say internal server error that tells me it's their end they accused them they accused me of having shit internet not the case I can trust you my internet is tremendous. The internal server error. Four times. I rang them up. Can't take your call now. We'll have to ring you back. Give them the details. Not rung me back. Now I'm one of their clients. I pay my fees, my monthly insurance instalment to them. This isn't a massive amount of money. But it's what they quoted me. But it seems you get what you pay for. Now I'm not even insured with Amy. It's a bloke. Hit me up the arse. Stay there pal. Stay there. His insurance company. Rang me and they pestered me. To get the information. They've rung me. They said right we want to get a tow your bike away. We want to do this. We want to get you organised. Our client hit you. We're going to look after you. And do you know what? I'm lucky he was with Amy, the Amy Insurance. And because of that, because of how good they've been, now I've made a mistake here, so what's going to happen is, I'm going to reverse into that. I don't have a reverse gear. Here's a little tip. So yeah, next year I'm going with Amy Insurance because of how the good they've been. I'm going to put my bike in backwards in this spot, and I'll tell you why. If you're going forwards, stand up, push it back. If you're going forwards and somebody reverse drives into the spot, you can actually knock your bike off its stand. If you're going backwards and they drive into it, and also don't put it right back there, put it where it can be seen a little bit. If I put it backwards and somebody drives into it, it's not going to knock it off its stand as easily because the stand will stay up. The rider skills tip of the day. Thank you very much.